Hey guys, in this video we are going to discuss count ifs function in Microsoft Excel. Count ifs function is one of the Excel functions that you will find very useful during your daily work. If you want to count the number of cells that meet one or more than one criteria, the count ifs function is the function that you need to use. Count ifs function even replaces the count if function if you have only one criteria. To illustrate how count ifs function works, let's discuss an example. Here we have a small data table in which we have invoice number, invoice year, customer name, invoice value, and invoice status. Let's begin with one criteria only. Let's say from this column in voice status, we want to count the cells that have criteria or that has in voice status our due. So we can start by entering here count ifs function open parenthesis. You can see in count ifs function we have series of parameters. The first parameter is criteria range. Criteria range is the number of cells or criteria range or the cells against which we want to test our criteria. As we want to test from these cells, even any cell has criteria our new or not. So this from cell E2 till cell E13 is our criteria range. Comma, the second parameter is criteria. As we said, we want to test if any cell has status our new or no. So our criteria is our new. So we can add a quotation mark, our due, again quotation mark and close parenthesis. A criteria can be a value or a cell that contains a value. In our case, we have directly entered our value or criteria in the function. Now we have been entered here our parameters. If you have only one criteria, these are the all parameters that you need to add. So I will press enter so we can see result of our count ifs function. I press enter, you can see the result is seven. So that's meaning in this list from cell E2 till C13, there are seven cells that have invoice status over you. Now let's discuss an other example with more than one criteria or two criteria. Let's say in the same data table, we want to count the number of cells that have customer name unicorn trading and invoice status over due. So we can add again here count ifs function open parenthesis criteria range one and criteria one we can add the same as we did one in our previous example. So criteria range one from cell E2 till E13 comma criteria one over due comma criteria range two. As we said, we want to test if customer name is unicorn trading or not. So from cell C2 till C30 is the second criteria range against which we want to test the customer name. So comma, second criteria, as we said, our second criteria is customer name unicorn trading. We want to test if from this list any cell has name Unicorn trading or no, so we can add here our criteria to unicorn trading in quotation marks, close parenthesis. So if I press enter, you can see the result is 3. So that's meaning from this table, the count ifs function will test if the customer name is unicorn trading or no, if the invoice status is overdue or no, and then after testing these both criteria, it shows that in this table, there are three invoices that meet this condition that customer name is unicorn trading and invoice status is overdue. Now let's discuss another example with three criteria. Let's say in, a, in addition to these two criteria, we also want to see that there are how many invoices that have invoice year before 2020. So we have here count ifs function in which we tested that if there is an invoice with customer name unicorn trading and invoice status overdue, now we need to add one more criteria. If in addition to these two, there is an invoice with invoice year before 2020. So we can add here comma criteria range three 
as we want to test the years. So from cell B2 till cell B13, comma, criteria 3, as we said, we want to see that if any invoice has invoice year before 2020 or lower than 2020, so we can add here quotation mark, smaller than sign 2020, again quotation mark. So we have been added here our criteria range 3 with criteria 3, press enter. And you can see from this full table, there are only two invoices that have customer name Unicorn Trading, invoice status over due, and invoice belongs to a year before 2020. If we see from this list, you can see that these two lines that I have been selected, these both lines are included in result of this count ifs function. The count ifs function has ignored all other invoices because all other invoices doesn't meet these three conditions or these three criteria. So friends, these are simple examples that cover how to use count ifs function in Microsoft Excel. If you want to learn more such Excel functions with simple examples, please don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel Microsoft Office Tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Bye bye.